Now, tonight, we take a look into the weird and wonderful world of the celebrity impersonator in Channel 4 show Lookalikes. It's a fly-on-the-wall documentary about a lookalike agency that's sadly fallen on hard times, hasn't yeah. it? And today, we are joined by Andy Harmer, who runs the agency, is a David Beckham lookalike, and Martin Jordan, who's Gordon Ramsay. Uh, also, John Domenico, a Donald Trump impersonator, who's going to be joining us live from Las Vegas, and also Rylan Clark Neal. <laughs> 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 what? This is very strange. This is weird. This is strange. It's like, right. Would the real Ryland Neil Clark please stand up? The real Ryland Neil went up. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Danny, you get yourself oh, over there. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't work like that, not that quick. How weird is this it's, to have your really impersonator? It is. And do you know what? I, I want to start with you, Danny, because the funniest story is about sort of a few months after I come off X Factor, I was in a bar. And I went to the bar to get a drink. I don't know, everyone was staring, and I thought, come on, we're over that now, <laughs> you know. And I just looked to my left, and there Danny was. Yeah, that's right. And I was like, hi, I'm Rylan. He's like, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we met. Did you know he existed at that point? No, I'd, you... I'd seen on Twitter people saying, oh, I've just seen Rylan driving round Redbridge Roundabout. And I was like, no, I weren't. And look, oh, God, look. Hang so on. when did you start oh. being Rylan? <laughs> well, halfway through the X Factor, yeah. it was. And then, um... Yeah, the X Factor changed his look from blonde to yeah. dark. I was really dark at the time. Met my agent, and things just went from there, really. <laughs> and did so somebody freak. say to you, oh, you're so like Rylan, you should yeah. try this? Yeah, yeah, people was going to me, oh, you really like that, that, that bloke on the telly? And I went, oh, you know, I went, oh, I want to see him. I went, oh, right, yeah. And, and then he just went out Do people actually think you were me? Yes. A lot of times yeah, you people, people going come to me. up to you. I said, I'm not him, I'm not Rylan, I'm not Rylan, seriously, I'm not. And they're going, you are, don't tell me, I won't say nothing. Can I have a picture? <laughs> like, you ain't got to say anything anyway, so I'm not really him. <laughs> do you just do the picture now? Sign yeah, I thing. do the picture. Yeah. I don't do no You've oh, done me a massive but... favour. I can use the same. Go, no, it's, it's actually, I'm his lookalike. I'm his lookalike. Yeah, mm. So I can get out so much now. <laughs> Uh, well, we've got Andy with us. Who, Andy is a, a David Beckham lookalike and has been for, for many years. But yeah. this is your agency, so the programme lookalikes, which is, as I said, Channel 4 tonight, this is a kind of fly on the wall following you and your lookalikes. Yeah, around. it is. It is based on my reality. It's a reality comedy hybrid. Yeah. And it's, you know, about what it's like to be a lookalike and me running the lookalike agency, you know, with some uh, very funny consequences. And how is life as David Beckham now? Uh, it's all right. It's not as good as it was when he was, you know, in his prime and he was captain of the England team and playing football. Now he's retired. You know, I thought I've got to find something to give me life after Beckham. So that's part and of the reason. Especially for you, Andy. I mean, out of all of you sat, sat here, I mean, David Beckham changes his look like the weather. Over the uh, years, uh, he's had everything. And you have and to keep up stuff. with that. Oh, yeah, it's a nightmare. You know, all the haircuts that I've had and... You know, his tattoos, well, I've not kept up with his tattoos, I've got his children's names over my body. <laughs> like <that>, <laughs> uh, I've got to say, of all of you, Martin, I stopped in my tracks, I came out of makeup mm. today and bumped into a man with a knife in the corridor. <laughs> and it, was actually, it was actually Martin as Gordon Ramsay. But you said you were a bit of a reluctant lookalike. I it's was. Just that, looking at how you do, what else could you do, really? But, but do you know what? When something gets thrown on you, when it isn't your choice, um, years ago, so many people told me, but it wasn't something I wanted to do. I wasn't like a natural entertainer or anything like that. But eventually, so many people told me that I thought, do you know what? You're going to do something. I'm going to have gonna to do, do it. it. Probably don't help, though, Martin, wearing the chef white. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't want to insult you by saying that, but, you know, wearing that choice of outfit, I think it's just yeah, drawing I a know. bit of attention to I it. I know, I've got pyjamas to match. <laughs> I want to go... We're going live to Las Vegas now, because I don't want before we, this link runs out, which happens in TV sometimes. This is very We've got exciting. John D Domenico, or also known as Donald Trump. Good morning, or good evening. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, You're very good, I've Donald. never seen your show. I don't know either one of you, but I hear you absolutely fantastic. Oh, Donald, and you've, thank you've you. Heard, you've heard right, Donald. Listen, thank you so much for taking time out from the presidential campaign. We know you're a very busy man. Um, just wanted to know how life is for you at the moment. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm winning all the primaries. I'm winning all the caucuses. I'm really doing a fantastic job. I'm absolutely amazing. John, I want to speak to you as yourself, because you are fantastic. Uh, how did all this start you. for you? I've got about 30 uh, seconds, John, I'm afraid. 
Oh, okay. Well, I was uh, five years old. I had a speech impediment, and I learned to do voices at a really young age, impressions and things like that. And about 12 years ago, I picked up um, I picked up Trump because of The Apprentice was yeah. so successful. So I did a lot of corporate events, and now with the presidential run, it's just been huge. Well, John, I mean, you you're I mean, you're making up to big bucks. You know, forty thousand dollars a month, especially now. I mean, this must be a great lifestyle for you. I, it, yeah, it's it's been really great between um, uh, some TV shows and some movie work and some commercials and a lot of corporate work. It's really been fantastic. It's because he's everywhere. He's in, yeah. in on the news constantly. It's like 24 hours a day here. Well, John, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to talk to us. Good and, luck and with the, the thing hair, out the there. And the hair is perfect, it's bang John. On. It's very, bang very on. impressive. It's really, thank you all. Really fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Lookalikes is on Channel 4 tonight. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank it's you, very guys. weird looking at you over I there. Know.